This is damage done to an irreplaceable piece of art. But this is also damage that has been done to the very thing that inspires art, the Earth. And unlike Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa, safely preserved behind protective glass, damage done to the Earth is lasting and irrevocable. That is the message climate activists have apparently been trying to deliver by targeting numerous artworks. The protests seem like a means of bringing more media attention to the issue of climate emergency by raising a thought-provoking question. What is worth more, art or life? Is it worth more than food? Worth more than justice? Yet the concept of attacking a piece of art is actually nothing new. Just Stop Oil's protest methods recall a time when suffragettes attacked paintings during the birth of the feminist movement. Although the current protests have arguably garnered attention thanks to viral videos, some critics claim that they risk making activists look like irrational vandals who do nothing but disrupt peace, causing the climate movement to become a cliché. Do you think this new kind of art activism can potentially help the climate cause?